G'day, Mikey Reedy here coming to you from my beautiful backyard in New South Wales, Australia where you can hear the gorgeous sounds of the Australian summer, the cicadas and the birds and lots of Australian wildlife. And today I'm going to bring you the first in a series of 10 videos that I'm making just for you to help you to succeed. Now, emotional freedom technique and sound healing are two of the most powerful healing tools on the planet. And I have combined them to make a really accelerated process to help you move through negative and destructive emotions and belief systems that are holding you back. Now there could be many different belief systems that are holding you back. The 10 videos in this series will um, address 10 of the most common ones. So the first thing I'm going to do though is very quickly go through the EFT process just in case you're not familiar with it. If you really want a detailed video then I do have one on my website and you can just check it out there to see the full process and learn it in full. But um, firstly I'm going to show you the acupressure points that we tap on to release the emotions and then we're going to start to release the negative emotions that are holding you back because it's actually your emotions and your negative belief systems that are stopping you from realizing your true potential. There is no outside influence that you can blame in relation to your results. And it's not a case of taking um, a feeling of fault or blame yourself because that just brings up feelings of shame and guilt. And they're not helpful either. But by realizing that you are responsible for your results, you can actually take your power back and then release the things that are blocking you, which as I said are your belief systems and your emotions, and EFT and sound healing are extraordinarily powerful for that. So firstly, the EFT process, I like to use the full EFT process just to give it a really good boost. So I start with the top of the head, then I move to the inside of the eye, the outside of the eye, and we're just tapping firmly, but not so you're bruising yourself, under the eye, under the nose, on the chin there, just underneath the collarbone, underneath the knobby bit, and then about four inches under your arm, or for the ladies where the bra strap is. And then we're going to do the nine gamut procedure. So where the cuticle of the nail on the thumb, tap there, and the second finger, the third finger, skip the fourth and go to the fifth, then the karate chop point, and then the gamut point is between the fifth and the fourth knuckles, just in the fleshy part. We tap there, close the eyes, open them, close them, open them, down hard to the right, straight ahead, and to the left, straight ahead. Roll your eyes all the way so you see the floor, the ceiling, and the walls, and the other way. And then you've got to pick a happy song, something that makes you feel good inside. Hum it for a few seconds. We count one, two, three, four, five. Hum the song for another few seconds. Then we go back and do the tapping points again. As I said, if you're not familiar with it and that was a bit too fast, then go and check out the video on my website, margarita.com.au, where you can get a more detailed um, learning process of that particular, that particular, um, EFT procedure. So now we're going to do tapping on releasing your frustration and anger about not getting the results that you want in your life. And this is huge. And if you're stuck in this negative emotion, then it's really going to perpetuate and stop you from moving forward. Um, so we're going to do the EFT, as I said, and my sound healing CD will be playing in the background, which is designed to also accelerate the procedure and help you to release more emotions. So now we're going to rate how frustrated you feel on a scale of zero to 10. Zero being the least, and 10 being the most extreme with your current situation, whether it be financially or with your career or some, it's something to do with success for you. So just tune into how you feel about where you're at right now and why you aren't where you want to be and rate that. And now we're going to start on the karate chop point and I just want you to repeat these phrases after me. 
even though I feel really frustrated. Because I just can't seem to get ahead. I profoundly love and accept all of me. Even though I'm feeling really very frustrated because I seem stuck in the same position. I choose to love and accept myself anyway. Even though I feel so frustrated and even angry, I deeply and completely accept all of me. Top of the head. I feel so frustrated. Nothing I do seems to work. I've tried so hard. I just feel like I'm in Groundhog Day. No matter what I try, I just can't get ahead. I feel so frustrated. Why isn't it working for me? I'm even feeling a bit angry. I'm angry at myself for not being able to succeed. And I'm angry at the universe for not helping me when I need it at most. Now on the gamut point, close your eyes, open them, close them, open them. Down hard to the right, straight ahead, and to the left, straight ahead. Roll your eyes all the way in one direction, and all the way in the other direction. And hum your song. Count one, two, three, four, five, and hum. Mm -hmm. Top of the head. I feel so frustrated. This feeling is really quite overwhelming. I just feel so frustrated and stuck. And I'm angry at everybody who's ever stopped me from succeeding. I'm angry at the people who didn't believe I could succeed. I'm angry at myself for not believing I can succeed. I'm just so frustrated and angry. I just really want to get ahead. It would be nice if I didn't feel so frustrated. And take a deep breath and release it. And again in. And blow out all that negative emotion. Meet Charlie, my little dog. So hopefully, just go back and rate your feelings of frustration and anger on a scale of 0 to 10 again and hopefully it's come down a bit. Sometimes when you start it might go up because you're bringing your focus to that particular feeling but if you do a few rounds and it hasn't come down quite significantly then there's another emotion in there anchoring it and this is where as I said these 10 tapping videos are not definitive because we're all different we all hold on to different emotions, different events, different feelings and belief systems, but they are great triggers to discover what is lying underneath. And the more you become aware, the more those feelings will come up for you, the more you can tap on them, and the better results you will get. So I encourage you to review this particular EFT tapping several times before you move on to the next one, and just see what comes up for you. The more consistent you are with this, the better results you're going to get. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy tapping. Take care. Bye for now.